in simple games, you often want to have the keyboard act as two controllers, such as having WASD control one character and the arrow keys control another. However, in Unreal, this is kind of difficult because it is set up so that one keyboard or controller or whatever can only act as one controller. Now, there are some kind of hackish ways to go about that. So I'm going to show you one that I found. I used this for the PC version of AMG, the game that I'm creating right now. So in our blueprint, we already have actions for up, down, left, and right for your D-pad on a controller, which will automatically work on a multi-controller setup. If you want to get to work on a keyboard from two players or more, you're going to have to do a little differently. To do this, we're going to have the player zero control player zero and also player one using the player zero keyboard controller, if that makes sense. So what we're going to need is a variable to keep track of your player one, which is going to have to be a multi keyboard pawn or whatever you named your pawn. So you're going to need up, down, left, and right key entries, as well as W, S, A, and D key entries, which you can get from up or whatever, one of these, and then under keyboard events. Should have a little keyboard icon in the corner. So what you're going to have to do first is convert each of these into a function by collapsing it. So up, down, left, right. So now that you have each of your actions as a function, you can just copy and paste these over for your regular up, down, left, and right arrow buttons. And now one of them will automatically work. Though it's a little annoying that it's on the opposite side. So you could also put on WSAD or just switch these around, whichever you prefer. So now hit up and it works. Okay, so that works for your player zero. And for player one, you're going to have to get your player one. You're gonna have to check if it's valid, which it will fail the first time, at least. You could maybe do this in begin play, but it might cause some problems occasionally. So I just do it this way. It shouldn't be a huge deal performance wise. And then in, in is valid, you just grab player one and run up. And if it's not valid, you have to find your player one. So, um, first get player pawn for index number one. Then cast to your pawn class that you made. And then you want to set this. And then you can run your up. With that as your target. So now hopefully W goes up with that. And then this one can be controlled. So now you just have to copy this minus um, these guys and paste it in a few times 
do down. Down. Left. Left. And then one more for a right. Now we should be golden. So I can move all of these with WSD and these with the arrow keys. And now we have multiple controllers in one keyboard. If you're gonna have multiple different pawns, just have a base class with each of your actions. And then just override your function action in your uh, triad classes. That was Mr. TriPi and thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful and would like to help my channel grow, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.